Well, too bad. Hey, by the way, I wanted to show you the carrier on the, the back of the motorcycle. My helmet's in there. We're way off the, the grid off and back on 314. And uh, somebody was telling me about the Eaton Lake Trail. And the sign up here says it's one mile down this road. And I hate leaving the motorcycle right there. But uh, when you get into this, see how, see how this sand is? When you get into this uh, sand, those tires... They just, uh, they get too unstable. And uh, once I saw that it was getting really, really thick sand here, uh, you know, I've already gone over on that ADV 150 twice trying to drive, do these roads. I mean, if it's, it's well graded, of course, but uh, it just can't handle these, uh, the deep sand like this. When I say deep, I mean, you know, it's, it, uh, it goes from, see if it stayed like this right here, I could ride it right through here, no problem. But if you look up ahead, you got some ruts where it's going to get real thick and and difficult. So you know, I'm just gonna just gonna leave it there because I did go through some deep sand just getting it to there. But we're gonna see if we can find this Eaton Lake Trail. It's supposed to be about one mile down here, and uh, so that'd be two miles of the hike right there. And uh, and then I think the trail's like four miles. So we got a few hours. Let's get going. See, that's what I'm talking about. No way in hell I could drive that motorcycle through here without going over on it. It just, uh, it gets to spinning and then you, you're, you're fishtailing and, you know, I'm not a good enough rider to, to keep that thing under control riding through this. So that's why we got to hike it. So I always get the the weird stuff, I guess this is a memorial to Grover, 914.87 to 911.16. I'm not sure what the ornaments are with the chain up here. They're pretty rusted, a couple of rocks down there. And a beer can, which uh, that's one thing here in Florida, you do get a, a lot of litter bugs, man. I'm just walking along here, there's cans all along the side of the road i mean not you know huge amounts of them but uh it just disgusts me that people can't find a you know hike to hike, hike the trash out or in this case drive your trash out so you can see look up here no way i could have brought the motorcycle up in here and you know that's it life's just a trade-off you know yeah i'm getting 100 miles to the gallon but i'm limited here in Florida because of these sandy roads where I can go with it and uh, you know it, it's it's fine on, on a, a dirt road until you get into real sandy soil like this so um, this is where I'd Outback would come in handy but five dollars a gallon I'm sorry I'm probably just gonna get the Prius could I bring a Prius down here I think it would get stuck right in here if you came through there you know now you see you can wind up to the right but uh, anyway so and you wonder what this gate is for right here you know it's a i mean is that supposed to be a road i i don't know maybe it's a it, once upon a time it was a fire break but here look you could get your car stuck right in here coming through unless you got a, a you know ground clearance proper ground clearance so no way i could drive a car back in here but where my sonata i could probably get the sorrento through here but uh, anyway, let's just keep on going. So now we got a dilemma. It says 05 to the right, whatever that means. And as you can see, there's a fork in the road. And I don't see this sign up there. Hopefully, well, I, so do you go straight or do you bend to the right? I'm not sure what that sign is telling me. You'd think they'd have a little sign that says trailed this way one of these days i am I'm, a, I'm here in florida and i'm sure in your state too it seems like no matter where you go i'm gonna make a stupid sign video <laughs> I mean, what are you, what, there's not even a car on this damn road you got a stop sign right here in the middle of the woods i mean how stupid can you be but look at this sand oh my god you you could no way you could get a car through here and i don't know which fork to take so I have a feeling I'm just going to end up hiking dirt roads for getting my hike in today. But uh, man, look at that. Back when I had my Ranger, that'd be fun to try. 
but I think even a ranger might get stuck in there. That was, you know, four wheel drive. But uh, I held it. But wow, that's tough to tough to think about. Now the sign said one mile, <laughs> and uh, I went straight because I figured they would have put a sign up if it went to the right. But look, and I've been hiking for well, I don't know, hour, and. Uh, I mean, and you know, I'm probably, because hike once I get in that deep sand, I'm only making about two miles an hour. So, where's the trail? You know, so I guess it's just going to be a dirt road hike today. Not much to it. This will be a quick uh, five minute video, unless I think of something to talk about while I just hike down a dirt road. But, uh, oh, I did, uh, well, we can't talk about this. Uh, Getting out here, I crisscrossed that uh, Florida Trail quite a few times. So uh, once we knock out the trail there next to Silver Springs Park, and I say next to it, that's, you know, going up into the Ocala Forest there, right off of the first time you see it on 314, because what I'm noticing is the trail's kind of zigzagging back and forth over 314, and that's going to, that'll be a big day. I got to get there early, and I uh, have the snake leggings on and the long pants and uh, probably some bug netting and because uh, it's getting that time of the year and uh, And then we'll we'll knock out that portion of the Florida Trail and now that I'm seeing a Lot of places that it zigzags across the roads, you know, we can start coming north on the trail um, I do want to get back out to Ross Prairie, but really what I want to do, you know, we've talked about it is camp at that uh, primitive camping site and uh, and then strike out from there for four or five days so but uh now i didn't want to show you how i'm equipped today well number one we got the, the walking stick number two i fixed the uh the backpack last night so i uh that's good you know i got plenty of water today although it's not a, it's a, not a hot day it's a beautiful day for a hike you know and, and every hike is sometimes it's just not the hike you're expecting you know whatever it's good exercise. You know, hiking in that sand is really good for your ankles, man. You know, because that's, uh, cause that's uh, you know, people playing. When I first got here, I was playing a lot of pickleball. And uh, you'd see a lot of twisted ankles uh, from, from older people. Because, you know, really all you got to do is just come out here and hike some of these trails and get into, you get into some sand. Um, you know, you saw there's portions. No way I could have got the, the motorcycle through it. But could I have ridden it right here? Yeah, this whole section of the road. Let's get back on the road. This whole section of the road would be an easy ride, you know. This, you can see this. See, this is easy. This this sand here, you know, that ain't bad. You know, it's, uh, you can still go over on it, but uh, it's just when it gets a couple inches deep, it, uh, it becomes unstable. So, um, yeah, we'll get back to the Florida Trail. I just today, and, you know, I... Back there, I could have I could have just gotten on the Florida Trail, but I didn't want to take it because, you know, I want to just do it one section at a time, you know, and rather than to, uh, jump around, you know, I because I, I, you know there is a time date on the videos, and I want people to kind of see, you know, the progression eastward and the progression northward, rather than jumping way north, and you know, <laughs> and then walking working my way back south, you know, that would be kind of silly. So anyway, we could. Well, I guess we could have gone north and put a future date on that video, but I only have so much disk space. Now I bought a, I got plenty of backup, but uh, you know, it's uh, tell you a story about backups. I had a backup, and I had a backup to the backup, and I had a computer backed up, and believe it or not, I lost all three up in Dearborn, Michigan. Um, now I, how much, did, how much data did I lose? Right much, you know. Uh, but I mean, you know, that's redundancy, right? And uh, I hadn't really talked about that is, uh, you know, something you should do is, uh, you know, keep your backups in, in different places. So like, you know, what it used to do is I keep one at my parents' house and I keep one at my house. And, uh, but, uh, you know, that's a t it was a 10 hour drive from Michigan. And here, you know, being in Florida with the virus out there and everything, 
you know, I don't go up to Virginia very often, so that's kind of out. So then you got to get a trusted friend and uh, that, that, that understands the need for letting you put a backup at their house. And uh, But then, you know, are you going to trouble them? Hey, man, I need to swap out that backup, you know, to, to get the other one. And I just don't have that many good friends here in Florida. I mean, I got acquaintances, really. But just not a, you know, like, like, not like a true friend where you just, you know, hey, man, you know, trust you with everything. Because uh, all my friends are dead anyway. All right. Well, uh, we'll just go on a ways further, probably about another half an hour or so. And then uh, I'll turn around and then uh, maybe take that other fork in the road back there. See where that goes. Uh, just a little ways up it and uh, that'll be the hike for the day. Not much to it. All right, guys. Peace out. All right, so <clears throat> we went about another, I don't know, half a mile up on that uh, straight path. So I came back and I took the the left fork. I did encounter a guy in a Jeep. And uh, he said, uh, there's a couple of sinkholes up here. And I asked him, you know, where Eaton Lake was. And he gave me, <laughs> it, was, it was crazy directions. I mean, you'd be hiking all day to get to Eaton Lake. But, uh he didn't know where the trail was, so I thought I'd give it a chance coming up this right fork. So, because it could could be up here somewhere, and uh, we'll give it a chance. I'm, I'm going to go at least a half mile up here because I, I know I've been at least a half a mile up from the motorcycle, probably further. So I'm hoping we'll see it soon. And I'm not going to hike it today. I'm uh, this uh, hiking in the sand gets gets me tired. And uh, we've been at it for, for a while now. I don't know how long. And uh, I just want to find the trail there because I could come back. And then the next time I know what to do is we'll, we'll hold that motorcycle up in the woods rather than just leaving it beside the road and then make a whole day hike out of it if, it, if I get to the trail anytime soon. If we don't find the trail, well, I guess I'll just have to maybe pull it up on the, the uh, map at home on the computer and see where I went wrong. I, you know, you saw, I'll show you the sign on the way out that said the Eaton Trail one mile. <laughs> it must be a, a Florida mile or a country mile or I don't know what kind of mile or time, unless, unless I'd read the sign wrong. I mean, that's possible, you know, I'm, I've done, could have been wrong before, but let's see if we can get to them sinkholes and then uh, we'll turn around and get back to the motorcycle and that'll be it for today. I'm, I'm feeling it two days of hiking in a row. I don't usually do that. It was just because I had to go to the motorcycle shop and they're, they're way north in Ocala. And uh, so I figured I might as well come out here and try to find something new since I was already down here, you know, and take it, plus the weather. Oh my God, weather today is just fantastic. I mean, this is, this is the time of year in Florida that is just so awesome, you know. I, because we suffer. I mean, you know, you suffer through your winter, wherever you are, a lot of people, and we suffer through the summer. And uh, so it's nice to, well, I think we just found it. Check it out. Well, this is it. Closed. <laughs> you are here. So uh, that'd be a nice hike. I wonder why it's closed. I guess, uh, you know, but uh, it's nice. You got a bathroom here. You know me and bathrooms. By the way, I uh, just down the road, there's a community center and a library. And since I'm a Marion County resident, I uh, I availed myself of the library bathroom. Very nice, very clean. So, uh, and it was right as you came in the door. I didn't even have to talk to anybody. But uh, so you know, it looks like uh, just the sinkhole trail is closed so I bet you can do the loop trail over here so not today I'm tired went the wrong way uh, forest facts 598 square miles between Ocala and St. John's rivers 500 miles 500 plus miles of trail for hiking biking horseback riding six six hundred lakes rivers and springs boy I tell you you can you can hike forever <laughs> Somebody blew a hole in it. Some redneck decided he was going to shoot the sign. Uh, you know, he's paying for his ammunition. He wants to waste it that way. Let someone know where you're going when you expect return. Carry, 
yeah no shit carry water um all right so we we found it i guess i'll just be going back to the motorcycle so you can see the loop trails going this way i tell you what let's let's go in about well you know maybe a quarter mile just see what it looks like and uh and we'll come back uh, another day and do the uh the loop trail so Ocala National Forest, Lake Eaton Trail. So I could see where this would be a nice hike. So we'll, we'll come back and do this sometime. And too bad I didn't took the wrong turn on that road. But uh, I don't like where I left the motorcycle anyway, so I want to get back to it without being gone too long. It's just because I figured that you know, I've only seen two two vehicles so far. The one that was parked back there, <clears throat> and of course that Jeep. That luckily he, he didn't go down that road, so I'm I feel pretty good. You know, but you never know. I want to next time I come, I want to hide that thing properly because you know I could you know you could come up into the. I just got to get it into the woods and hide it. So uh, so that'll be it for today. But you kind of see this would be probably a nice hike. Now it looks like I would prefer. To have my hikers on right now i've just got the the high top tennis shoes because you know I'm, I'm letting the hikers that's one thing that i do and you need to do too is um you know as i swap shoes because i do so much hiking and uh you know so i'll i'll have my hikers on one time and my tennis shoes the next and i have multiple pairs of tennis shoes now i understand it gets expensive but uh but you got to let those shoes air out and i always put some foot powder down in them spray them and uh so we can see a nice touch. You got a little sign here, uh, so so it's showing you. So this would be it. Look at this. So you're right here. So you come out 0 0.6, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.8. So it's not that long a hike, but after you hiked up that road, it says 1.8 miles. Be something fun to do. I'll come back and do it sometime. And then you got the Florida Trail if you want some more hiking. And I'll show you that on, on the way back to the motorcycle. Thought I'd just get another video. I'm hiking back. But, uh, yeah, that sign says one mile. Maybe I'm just tired from two days of hiking. But that sure don't look like one mile to me. Anyway, let's just keep on going. Always a welcome sight. There's the motorcycle. So for my trail hikers, always always looking for places to pick up the florida trail so just to give you the verbal directions you know you come north of 40 on 314 and look for the uh eden lake uh, trail sign one mile down this dirt road okay and uh you can see the car could get here no problem and uh, it's even got a little parking space you can park park your car right there uh, I might do that if I ever am over this way with my car and you could pick up the Florida Trail right here Looks well maintained. I'm not gonna do any of it today. I'm too doggone tired But to see look this is and this this is what some of the portions of the Florida Trail are, you know See look, that's just a dirt road really, but uh, just like we we just came down that so uh, But I uh, you know the other thing if you've got a smartphone and everybody does just just say directions to Eaton Lake Trail directions to Eaton Lake Trail and it'll take you right there so now I just got to get out of here without laying the, the bike down because I there were some sandy spots because <laughs> I I almost bought it a couple times coming back in here even though I didn't come very far and uh, you know I would have never made it through this right here so that was a good thing I stopped up there but uh, and then I'm going to look for a place to ditch that motorcycle because I do want to come back and uh, if I'm not in the car, I got to hide that thing in the in the um, forest somewhere. Because I tell you, it just gives me a, I don't know, it's a scary feeling. You know, I've got a lot in that uh, thing. You know, my leather jacket's in there, my helmet. Um, I, well, a couple other things, you know, that are valuable. And uh, so somebody did throw it in the back of a pickup truck, you know. So I'd, I want to be able to hide it. So on my way out... I'm going to look real hard for a place to hide the motorcycle in the woods if I'm ever down this way on it, up this way, excuse me, north. And uh, and then we'll get a picture of the of the sign saying, uh, Eaton Trail, one mile. <laughs> I just want to record that for posterity and that'll be the end of the video. 
Alrighty. So here it is in all its glory. Lake Eaton Loop Seminole Trails one mile. Just remember you go down if you got a four-wheel drive and take the right, don't go straight like I did. And it's uh it's marked on both sides of the sign. So that's good. And this is 314 coming in. And then this is the dirt road. And Florida Trail is just up there. Peace out, guys. Have a good hike.